Hello, Junta viewers. This is Avendian, welcoming you back to this war of mine. We're playing with uh, Marco, Pavel, and Bruno, and it looks like we've been raided. No one was wounded. We didn't lose anything. We brought back a ton of stuff. Marco, go enjoy some victory stew. Mmm, victory stew. Um, you're feeling a bit sad, but... Thing is, I don't have any more vegetables. But I do want to make sure that you get your chance. Uh, go ahead and go to sleep. Uh, make me three wood. I'm gonna burn the books. It pains me to say this, but the rest of it is too valuable right now. Make sure that he gets a full night's sleep, and then uh, once Bruno is finished cooking, uh, we're gonna let him have some sleep. Don't worry, he won't have to eat anything. You just have to eat some delicious stew. Okay. So we need enough for the moonshine still. We need enough for the axe. And I don't know that we have enough for either of them, but... We also want to keep working on the patches if we haven't finished those yet. Actually, Marco, you're only tired. Um... Actually, let's start by having you come over here. Uh, we do have enough for the still now. Let's go ahead and make that. And then Bruno, eat some stew. And then go to bed. Remember, hungry's not the end of the world. Oh, um, Pav, get up and have some stew, and then you can go back to sleep. Lastly, do we have enough to upgrade the metal bench? Not even close. Uh, we need quite a bit for that. Hmm. Can we improve this? We need a bit more wood. Yeah. That's fine. Uh, Bruno, start us up some moonshine. Then go ahead and go back to bed, Pav. What do we need for this? I just need fuel. Okay. Um, yeah, burn a bit of wood. Wood isn't that hard to come by. And then once he's done, I'm going to have you go ahead and start up on uh, making our first thing of moonshine. There we go. Um, Marco, can you make us another rain detector dealie? Uh, pro tip in the game, by the way, anything that's like this stew here or our moonshine cannot be stolen if it's still in the device. Um, oh, right. I need to actually make the rain filter first, don't I? Um, so if you have something really valuable that you just made and you don't want to stall, that's something that you can do. 
Um, if we have the supplies for it, actually, can we build a radio? Because I'd like to start getting some sense of the world around us. That's going to be important in the days to come. Now, unfortunately, it's been a while since I played the first episode of this. I genuinely don't remember where we should be going tonight. Um, yes, let's make a radio. There we go. Our biggest problem is the wound that Pavs has. I don't think you can recover from a wound just by um just by resting i think you actually need the bandages which we can't make right now because we don't have uh the ability to do that so it's going to be an interesting process. we also desperately need food um we're now out of cooked food so that maybe that should be our priority um uh. hey two Oh, goodness. Sorry, guys. Um, there we go. Some music. Um, and then let's get a filter made if we have the materials for it. We do. Let's make four of them. So what we're going to do is we're actually not going to take the moonshine. Because if we do get attacked, that's going to be one of the first things the raiders are going to want. Um, and we definitely don't want that. Come on. Because I want to get a filter installed before you leave tonight, but we may have to wait. Yeah, because, yeah, you're not going to have a time to install one tonight. That's all right. We can do it tomorrow. Oh, no. If I run, we might be able to make it up there. Because we have until 8, don't we? But I don't think you're going to get a chance to finish it before it's time to go out. Okay. Who's got food? You have food. You have food, but you're also incredibly dangerous. You don't have any food. The school's got lots of food. I guess that's what we're going to do. Um, sleep, guard, scavenge. Let's go to the school. Uh, take the lockpick and the crowbar. And hopefully we can recover some food today. The problem is I don't know that we can. Um, okay, you're just a rat. I know there's a refrigerator here somewhere. There it is. What I don't know is whether we can afford, uh, whether we have the ability to get the door open. That's not a ref that's not a fucking fridge. What am I talking about? Now here's the downside though. Uh, we need to be super stealthy about this. 
We might have to kill a couple of people. Like, I really don't want to. I genuinely don't want to. Yep, there's their food. Okay, you're both awake. He's asleep. Oh, you're waking up now. Please don't do that. Oh, hello. Okay. This is going to be considered stealing, isn't it? No, it's not. It just has no food. Great. I'll take your water, and I'll take your components. Uh, I'll probably end up dropping some wood in exchange for food a bit later on. Let me search the cabinet here. There's nothing here worth scavenging either. Behind the fridge. Wait, there's medicine up here. Oh, you guys are going to be pissed if I steal your medicine. Like, you're going to be major league pissed. But I also can't do much about that. Oh, you don't have anything worth stealing. Uh, please pick the door open. What's in here? Mmm, some gears. I'll take it for now. Okay, there's a stash behind the fridge. That's probably where their food is. Hey, guys. I just don't want them to be hostile. Um, that is my number one concern. Here's the food. Okay. Um, I feel really shitty about this. But we gotta do what we gotta do to survive. I'm gonna take your food and your booze. And there's nothing down there that I can... I can't get into there. But it said huge amounts of food. There's got to be more food in here somewhere. Like, there's got to be a lot more food. Oh, there we go. I bet it's right there. And I can't steal from them when they're looking at me. Nah, we're okay. I think we're just gonna leave, and I don't think we're gonna come back here. I can at least check here. It's not considered stealing, right? Because there's no little icon that says it's stealing. Oh, there's a lot more components here. Um, you know what? Drop the wood so we take a few more extra components. Those are generally harder to come by, and it's just more efficient to steal them that way. And we can't really come back here without a saw blade, so I think this I think this day has gone relatively okay. But I think starting tomorrow, I think we have to look elsewhere. Cause we're gonna run out of food in the very near future. Okay. So 
So we're playing you through today till day 10. Day 7. Okay, some very nice loot was recovered. Have yourself a victory nap, uh, Marco. And then Bruno. I don't know if we have any sugar left, do we? Uh, we don't. Um, and sugar is something we can't produce. We have to actually make that. So that's unfortunate, but it's life. You'll get a chance to sleep, Bruno. Don't worry. Um. Ooh. I don't have the parts. Otherwise, I would do that in a heartbeat. This would be such a good idea right now. Let's do it. And then as soon as Mark Bruno is done, I'm going to send him to sleep. I think we're going to have Pav get up. Because he's clearly not recovering from his wounds. Um, we need something else to get him over the, the hump. Go check the radio, Pav. Coming days should still be warm. Okay. All right, and then as soon as you're done, I'll get you over to bed. So we definitely need sugar, but we really need basically lots of things so we can keep upgrading our little shelter here. If you think about it, it's actually a really nice place to stay for just three people. Oh, come on, another day without the fucking traitor? God damn it. Alright, Bruno, go sleep. Yeah, I know, but we can't make any bandages, so we're just gonna have to live with that. Yeah, I'm actually not that far off. We need to get a bunch of wood. Uh, go and have a seat. Okay. What's the way to just accelerate time instead of just ending the day? Because the only other thing I want Pav to do today is start up the second batch of... Um... I should not have collected the moonshine. I feel dumb now. Because, yeah, unfortunately, because you're wounded, Pav, Bruno has to be pretty much our permanent guard. Unless the hospital becomes available, Teddy. Then I'd continue up to the hospital and get healed. Um, and maybe we can send you with some moonshine so we can do some trading. That would be a good thing to have, too. Without question. Oh shit, did we not we never even finished the filter? Yeah. Whoopsie. I also want to get the rat trap built if we can. No, I did not tell you to stop. Actually I did tell you to stop, but we do need food. Um Which I mean Marco becomes an asshole tonight. I haven't decided yet though. I meant to Marco with a crowbar and just beat the shit out of the old people that live in the ruined house so that we can steal their food. Um, let's go ahead and end the day. Um, Alright, nothing new has been revealed.
It still says they have lots of food. It's got to be somewhere I can't get to then. Scavenge. Um, I'm going to send Pav on guard. And this is a bit risky. Because it's something... No. It's got to be Bruno. Because if, if Pav takes another wound, he might die. Uh, and we're going to take the crowbar. Not just to break in, but so I can murder you if you get to be out of hand. Get into the fridge right now. Oh, thank God. Okay. Oh, we do need a bunch of wood, actually. One quality cigarette is not worth it. Virtually anything else here would be, though. Let's get a bit more wood. I'm actually going to drop... If it's just one thing of fertilizer, I'd much rather have four components. And I'll do the same with the herbs. Oh, I just realized I made a horrible mistake. I left them without any weapons. Sorry, guys. I fucked up. I'm not going to search anywhere else here for tonight. I want to get you back home. I do feel kind of bad that we just took their entire food supply, but they didn't spot us, so I'm fine with that. Oh, I made a terrible calculation. We might be in a lot of trouble. I hope we're not, but we might be. Can I beg for two, two quiet nights in a row? Come on, please don't tell me I just fucked our people over. Come on, no whammy, no whammy, no whammy, no whammy, no whammy. Oh, okay. Uh, get you some stew. So quit your whining. Uh, get down there, Marco. Can we upgrade our metal bench yet? Almost. We're almost there. Before the axe is ours. Uh, give me... Three fuel. Actually, no, just two fuel. That's fine.
Bruno, I know you're tired. I need you to cook, though. So please cook. Get the food in the moonshine going. Uh, Marco. Upstairs, please. Restore our... Filter. Six eight's actually a bit chilly, um, but it's not the end of the world. In case you're a European watching the show, uh, watching the channel, but like, how warm is sixty eight? It's it's reasonably warm. It's like a nice spring day, basically. <gasps> Hello, I brought something for barter too. All right, so we need wood, um, and just basically parts is what we want. Uh, give me your parts. That sounded wrong. And then all the wood I can carry. And I will give you some moonshine. Three moonshine for a lot of wood and a bunch of parts is okay. Um... You don't have raw food. You do have bandages, but it's bandages are going to be expensive as shit. Um, do I just go for more wood? Is there anything else here that's worth trading? Yes, I think that works. And then we'll tell him he can go home. Alright, Bruno. Go get us uh go get us some booze in my hall. Um oh no, don't do that. I've gotta make sure I've got enough to build the new workshop before I burn anything for wood. Can you make us a rat trap, actually? That would be a useful use of your time. Ah, uh, we're short on parts. That's fine. Uh, Bruno, make us... Use three wood to make three fuel. And then when you're done, we're gonna make uh, some more moonshine. Okay, we can make the saw blade, but we don't have the weapon parts to make the axe. I mean, the saw blade is pretty good. Damn it, we need weapon parts to make an axe. I've forgotten about that. Fuck. Yeah, we're nowhere near making advanced uh, stuff there. But now we can make pistols and shotguns and knives, all of which would be excellent. Um, look, a saw blade's not a terrible thing to have on hand. I don't think you can use it as a weapon, unfortunately. Um, go to sleep. Have, come on up and have some delicious stew. Actually, eat the canned food. Um, here's the reason. The stew can't be stolen. The canned food can. Oh, sorry, Bruno. I almost let you get away with not making any moonshine. No, Marco, don't do that. That was dumb of me. There you go. Yeah, Pav, go get your canned food. All right. We can say with a very high degree of probability that we're going to get robbed tonight.
So what we're actually going to do is I'm actually going to send Pav out to scavenge tonight. I'm going to keep Marco behind to guard. And that way Bruno can get a full night's sleep. Poor Joven. Uh, Bruno, go ahead and go to sleep. Uh, stick another water filter in. All right, so we need weapon parts. That's another priority, but I think what we need more than anything is... Uh, is um is we need the hospital to open so that we can heal Pav. Um, so I'm actually gonna send Pav out to scavenge tonight. Um, cause we're actually good on food. The only thing we need now is we just need stuff. Like we need components, and I can get that from pretty much anywhere. Um, I would even say some places we've we've visited before have weapon parts, and we just missed it. The other thing we actually just need is raw parts so that we can build the uh, the animal trap. Can I make an herbal workshop? I can. You know what? I do want to be able to make bandages. So I'm going to go ahead and start an herbal workshop too. It is a bit more of a luxury item. Um, I think you can probably have a very successful game of this war of mine and never once make, um, Bruno, you're going to sleep through the night. Let's make some more moonshine. Okay. So make us burn us three more wood. Uh, Pav. So what do we need for bandages? We just need pure alcohol and then we need herbs. Um, oh, we can't make an herb garden, can we? Yeah, because now we need somewhere to actually make herbs, which is the herbal garden. That's a lot of shit. Okay. Wow. All right. Fun. All right. So Marco stays behind a guard tonight with the crowbar. Pav goes out to scavenge. And Bruno sleeps. All right. Marco guard... Bruno sleep, you scavenge. You have huge amounts of weapons. What do we do? Going to the apartment building would actually not be a bad idea. Um, let's do that. And I'm going to take... Or we go back to the school and saw through that one place. Let's go there. Yeah, because right now there's no reason not to do it. Because if they were going to come after me, they would come why I stole their food last night. I just think, frankly, they don't care right now. God damn it. 
Really? Let's get through here. Okay, this was kind of worth it. There's a sad story about a sniper shooting a little girl. That honestly wasn't really worth the saw blade, but... Let's see if we can find some more parts to scavenge. Hey guys, let's check out the cabinet. I'll take it all. It's not not useful. Yeah, they would be pissed at me if I stole from them. I mean, you know, to be fair, I'd be pissed if someone stole from me too, so... Completely and utterly fair. I will take all the herbal medicine, though. That's a nice, uh... That's a spicy meat ball right there. Your backpack's full now, isn't it? Yeah. That's, that's fine. Wait, did I get what I wanted from here? There's so much wood here, and we do need wood. We need it more than uh, than coffee. And we definitely need it more than a teddy bear. That seems fine. I don't think we'll come back here again. Um, I think we've gotten what I wanted to basically from them. And we did it without making, pissing anyone off, which is really the one thing I was concerned about. I didn't get any bandages, did I? That's a shame. I do want the axe uh, as soon as we can get it, which we need weapon parts for, and I did not get weapon parts tonight. Um, I don't think there are any weapon parts here. Alright. So we had Marco with the crowbar. And I think we really do need to get a better weapon. And I think the hatchet would be wonderful for that purpose. Uh, no one was wounded, and we did have a crowbar. And Bruno's feeling better. That's good. Um, someone smoke a fucking cigarette, you weirdo. Uh, um, Marco. Everyone should choose one happy memory, and it can't just be good, it has to be grand. When it gets so bad you want to sit down and cry when your life seems forfeit, you close your eyes and go back to your happy moment. It's not easy, but you have to try. True words, Marco. True words. Uh, Bruno. Go get you some, uh, some stuff. Uh, 
Uh, burn us some wood. Um, Pav, where are you? Go get us some water. I don't have enough sugar. Okay, that's fair. And sugar is one thing you can't actually make in the game. Um, and while it's not very helpful early in the game, it's critical at this stage in the game because it's used to make moonshine. And moonshine is by far one of the more profitable trade goods. Uh, Marco, go ahead and have a seat. You'll eventually smoke a cigarette and you'll probably be less sad. I wonder if giving you some herbal meds would make a difference. Oh, God damn it! really? Thank goodness you're here. What's up? Oh, you need someone to help you build the, build things up. Okay, fine. Have go on. Hey, he's not sad anymore. Even though he was a bit of a bitch about it, but that's all right. Did I literally never finish digging this up? So Bruno's job today is going to be to guard, and then we're going to leave, um, we're going to have Marco go out and scavenge. I hope we get a new location. Um, we've kind of scavenged all the really good stuff from the locations we're in now. So that would make me a happy camper. How many parts do I have? Okay. There we go. So now we can access all the wonderful things. Go have a seat in the chair, Bruno. You've earned it. Alright, let's go and end the day. Um... There's really not much else we could do. I could make some more filters. Um, yeah, I need to start making uh, an herb garden. I can't afford to waste a weapon part when I need five of them for a hatchet. Let's just go ahead and end the day. Damn it. Uh, no, you're very much going to guard. Uh, no sleep for you, I'm afraid, and you're going to scavenge. There's still some stuff from the ghost house. Uh, let's go check that place out. I'm not even going to take anything with me because it's just going to be sticking as much as I can in my pockets. All right, let's go downstairs. 
God damn it. I needed a saw blade here. Fuck. That's all right. You know, we got a bunch of sugar, and that's a pretty good haul. But yeah, we can't really go any farther in here without the saw blade. And that's where all the good loot is, isn't there? Can I at least get one more weapon part? This is actually fairly decent. This just feels like a waste to me. I kind of wish I'd remembered that this place needed the saw blade. Because right now we're basically wasting this trip because we're not going to have a full uh, backpack. So I think that's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to come back over the saw blade tonight or tomorrow night. Oh yeah, that's right, Subira and Kofi. Uh, we can look in here too. Like, it's not a bad haul. It's just the stuff that we really desperately wanted, which is weapon parts, is what we didn't have. But now that I know how much this place is locked behind that grate, we're going to give it a go. We're going to come back here tomorrow night. Without question. With a saw blade. So at the end of day 10 is when we're going to end the episode and hopefully tomorrow night is going to be a real good one in terms of some loot. Uh, Pav is back. That's good. Okay. Uh, Marco, get some stew. Bruno and Pav are both going to get some stew, too. Uh, Pav, stay up just long enough to get some food. And then you can go to sleep. Alright, Pav, go to sleep. Marco, go listen to the radio. Oh, um, Bruno. Go make us that saw blade. And now that we have so much more sugar, you can also make us more moonshine, which will be good. Uh, make us two more. Ah, uh, Marco. Anything else worth doing right now? How much water do we have? Twelve. Eh. Let's get that taken care of. And then you can go have a seat. Um, yeah, make us another water filter, please. good I think maybe we end the day I think
think maybe that's the thing to do for tonight. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll end the day. All right. Marco, you're scavenging. You're guarding. You're sleeping. Prepare. Just take the saw blade. And hopefully we'll get a bunch of really sweet loot downstairs here. Okay, that's a nice start. That's a really nice haul. Is there more downstairs? There is. But it said huge amount of weapons, so there should be some weapon parts in here somewhere. Uh, this is reasonable. Um, Let's get two parts. Let's drop the casing so we can grab a weapon part. We can at least replace our um, our thing, right? And I think we've got a bunch of herbal medicine. I'd rather have the fertilizer. All right. Oh, we're not coming back here. We've looted this place successfully. We've gotten what we meant to. And I think we can move on with our lives, secure in the knowledge that we've improved our chances of survival to a reasonable extent. And as soon as we see what Marco did, we'll be ending our episode here. Let's quickly see if anything horrible happened. Good. Please tell me... Okay, Pav's wound is getting worse. Fuck. All right. Well, let's end the episode and we'll deal with that next episode. So thank you for watching. Uh, hopefully you've been enjoying the series thus far. If you have, uh, give us a like. Uh, subscriptions are always appreciated. And comment down below about your own experiences with this warp one if you happen to have a chance to play the game. But until then, this is a bit of Indian. Thank you for watching and I bid you good day.